So today I wanna to show you the best free invoicing software for your small business. Now what we're actually gonna do as I'm going through this process is actually show you on the desktop so you can see this company's software tool, how it's used and how it can benefit your small business when it comes to running your invoices or even collecting payments from clients. Now we're gonna hop on that desktop like we talked about and with this company, this is Zoho Invoice and we're gonna break some of those features down. We're gonna talk a little bit about it. We're gonna show you an overview of effectively of this tool. Now, as we go through this, if you do want to go ahead and check them out, I will link them up in the show notes down below for you. That just will take you to their sign up page. And if you're somebody who kind of wants to see the step-by-step -step process of signing up and maybe even running your very first invoice, we actually will also have a video tutorial in that description box for you. So you can watch that video as well. So let's go ahead and start breaking some of this stuff down when it comes to Zoho Invoice and why this is the best free invoicing software. So first and foremost, being free does have some advantages and we wanna talk about that because as a small business owner myself, I'm always looking at being very cost effective when it comes to running this business. There's a lot of software out there that has a lot of recurring payments and we wanna make sure that we are finding ways to mitigate our cost in any way possible. So when it comes to this being for free, I'm actually meaning that all the features and benefits like the bells and whistles, none of it has an additional cost to it. Now there are obviously costs when it comes to collecting payment based off of like credit cards, but that's the credit card processing fees. But when it comes to actually just having the invoices and all the features we're gonna be looking at here today, there's no additional cost. This is all for you and I love that. So here at The Business Nerd, we love talking about these type of software to help with that business. And as you can see here, we're actually on the home page of the invoicing setup. Now, what's really cool is the very first thing it shows you is your total receivables. I mean, come on, who doesn't love to see the money coming in as the very first thing when you log into your account? So you can actually see how much is currently on your receivables and then how much is potentially late and how late those things are. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm running my small business, sometimes it's hard to keep track of every type of invoice that I'm sending out. So when I have a company that is allowing me to see when things are due, or when things are overdue because maybe a company forgot to pay and they're net 30, this is a really great way to kind of see this holistically so we can keep track of everything. So as we go through here, you can see the total that we have received is 3,500. We're still waiting on 2,000. This is just a demo account, by the way. I'm not actually waiting for this. Um, that's overdue 16 days. Um, so I just wanted to kind of clarify that. But it's really cool. You can see the the time frame. So the longer it keeps going, the more likely you should be reaching out to these brands or the company that you're working with to go ahead and receive your payment. Now, you also have a sales and expenses right here where you can go ahead and add your expenses if you'd like. Obviously, it's not required to be able to keep track of that. But all of these things when it comes to your total receivables is all based off of the invoices that you particularly make. So you don't actually have to plug this information in separately, but of course the expenses you would because they don't have that tracked automatically. Now, if you keep scrolling down here on the dashboard setting, this over here, you can see your sales, your receipts, and your dues for the day, for the week, for the month, for the quarter, and for the year. So you can really see that all kind of compiled together for you, which if, again, if you're anything like me and you love to see your data, love to see everything kind of put together, this dashboard really does it for you. So that that way you can see all of the things. Now, when it comes to the actual invoicing, what do the invoice look like? How does the setup process look like? I wanna show you that because that's actually a really cool thing as well too when it comes to this. Now, if you're anything like me as well, I want to try to save as much money as possible when it comes to my invoicing. And so one of the great ways to do that is make, by making sure you can have ACH transfers, which Zoho Invoice actually does also for you. So you can actually have ACH, which is a lot lower of a fee than going with just the credit card option. But obviously that will still need to be there for you to give your clients different options when it comes to paying that invoice. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our invoices. First, we're gonna show you on the back end, and then I'm gonna show you on the front end what that looks like as somebody maybe receiving that invoice. So we're here on our invoice tab over here, so we just clicked over, and we just created two temporary invoices for this demo account. One was the one that is due in 30 days, the other one has been overdue for 18 days. Again, just examples for us. So from here, we can see the invoice numbers, we can actually control the the way the prefix is for our invoice. We liked putting the year first and then the invoice number. So what's really nice with the invoice numbers is that for some people, they like to have it where you can manually change the numbers for every single invoice. Or if you're like myself, I love to have it just automatically go up one number automatically. So for us, the next invoice we make will 
be a three here at the very end, but the prefix of 2025 will be already preset for us. But you can actually have any kind of prefix uh, over here for you in your invoices, which is so nice. Now I'll show you in the creating invoice section here for you. There is a section here for you to obviously put in your client's information. And what's nice is that as you keep adding clients, they will be of course saved in a profile. So that way you can continue to add them again in the future for upcoming invoices. And for any of Buddy asking, you can actually set up reoccurring invoices. So it's not one that you have to come in and manually plug in every time. You can actually just set that up to automatically send to the company. Maybe you are charging them on a monthly basis or a weekly basis. You can have that automatic. Now, again, as you add the customers, this list will grow, but you can also search for your clients. And then of course you can also change their information too. If things change, like the person that you're reaching out to or the email address on file. And then as again, you can see here with our invoices, this is the little gear shift here that you can actually change your prefixes or enter in your stuff manually. I think that's fantastic. I love that. And then another great feature too is the discount feature. So you can actually do a discount for your clients. If you're offering something as a discount, you could either do it by percentage base or by dollar base. So you can actually swap back and forth. So if you wanted to do something like 10% off or a hundred dollars off, you can do those by themselves based off of what you are looking to do. So for example, if you did $10 off or sorry, 10% off, obviously we don't have anything on here, but for our item description, when you click on here, this similar to the customer thing will also give you this option to have the different items that you sell on a regular basis, whether it's a good or service. And when you add those things in and the discount will automatically apply. And then a new line item will show up if you are going to have multiple items. Obviously you can close this off if you don't need to, but otherwise it just is so simple and easy to utilize. We actually do have videos here on the channel going step-by-step -step on actually just creating the first invoice, which goes into a little bit more detail here. And then of course you have your payment gateway. So we have our Stripe account connected. So you could just go ahead and click on Stripe over here to have that connected and then being able to send out that invoice. Now I mentioned, I wanna show you what the front end looks like for somebody receiving an invoice because it's gonna be a different experience for somebody receiving versus when you are just sending out that invoice. So let's take a look at what that's gonna be like. So if you are a customer receiving an invoice from me when it comes to utilizing Zoho invoice and you created a portal for them, this is what it's gonna look like. And here's what's really cool. This portal, I didn't have to do anything except for check a box and it automatically put in the client's information, which is ourselves here. And then any invoices that uh, we are going to send in the future will all be housed here, as well as any payments made, as well as statements. So the client can actually get their transactions all looked at at the same time without having to ask us always directly. So this actually can save us a lot of time and I don't know about you, but I love saving time whenever I can. So if a client's asking for info about their invoices, they can go and click on any of their previous invoices and get to this same page. So that way they can keep track of everything. Now you can see over here, when it comes to creating your invoices, you can actually have your brand's logo, you can have your name, you could have a little note for your, your clients here towards the bottom, but you can see the descriptions and how this all looks. It looks very nice and clean, very easy for them to utilize. They can print it, they can download it, and then of course they could pay right on there if they have access to a ACH or the credit card payment option that you can add in each invoice separately. Now you can see here it shows outstanding for them, so when it's paid, they will get it shown that it's paid off, so that way they can keep track of it from their end as well. Now they also do have this feature called payment links, where if you just want to send out a link to a company to go ahead and pay a simple price, maybe they don't need an invoice. Maybe you don't need to send out an invoice, but you want to do something very quick. Let me show you what that's going to look like. So we're back here on the homepage and they have this section called payment links here on the left-hand side. And we went ahead and created a payments link here for us. So if we go ahead and copy this link that we made, and I'll show you how that goes in, then you can go ahead and send this to a brand and it's going to go ahead and just take them to a quick landing page to go ahead and pay. So this is what that landing page looks like. And honestly, it took us like a maximum of like four seconds to go ahead and make this. So you can see how quickly and easily this was if we don't need to make it a full on invoice. Now for us, if we go ahead and click on new here, this is how quick it was. We already have our customer saved. We go ahead and add in that total amount. So let's say this time it's only 500. And then this example is YouTube as well. We can go ahead and click on generate link. And just like that, we have a new link to send out to the customers. And because we already have our payments locked into our overall Soho invoice account, we can go ahead and just get that payment directly through our Stripe account, which we have connected. But you might be wondering, well, I don't have Stripe. I prefer to use Square or other payment gateways. Well, what's really nice is they actually do have other payment options. So again, we have Stripe connected for ours, but you can see here, there are a couple of different options for you, a lot of which give you a plethora of ways to have that money received into your account. So that way it goes into your bank. You could also do the ACH like we talked about. There's also PayPal and a several 
other options for you directly. So there are plenty of options here to make sure that your payments go through. And if you're somebody who maybe gets paid through cash, you can actually still send out invoices and claim it as cash payments. So that way you can still send them a paid invoice while receiving that cash. Now, I'm a big fan of reports because I think when we are running our businesses, we want to stay on top of things. And they do have a report section right over here on our left hand side of the screen here. So if we click on here, this is going to take us to our reports center. So you can see all the different type of reports that you can look for. And you can also even search for them up here on the top. So that way you can get all the right data that you are looking for to continuously run your business as smoothly as possible, making sure that your refund history is being checked on on a regular basis, or if you are adding in like your recurring invoices that you are checking on those as well. So this gives you a lot of details so that way you can make sure that you are crossing your T's and dotting your I's throughout your business. Now, many small business owners have multiple businesses that they run and running in and out of different accounts can be pretty tedious. And right up here at the very top of the account, you can see we have our business name. If you actually go ahead and click on that downward arrow, you can actually see right over here. Let me go ahead and click that again. Right over here, you can actually manage multiple of your organizations all at once inside of here and just toggle back and forth between them without integrating all the different companies or customers from those different brands that you might have. So this makes it so much easier when it comes through the process of actually having your multiple organizations with essentially one login account. Now, a lot of busy entrepreneurs might not have the ability to constantly keep up with those overdue invoices on a regular basis. And here in the reminder settings uh, down here, you can actually see that you can set up a couple different types of reminders. So you can actually have it where you can have a reminder set up for 15 days after the due date or seven days after the due date, whatever works best for you to send a reminder email for your clients so you don't actually have to go and manually do that even when they do automatically become overdue. So some other really important features that they have available for you is the way you can customize your invoice templates. So that way you can have multiple different types of templates depending on how you want to run on the front end for your clients and how that all looks for you. Now they do also have the email notifications as well too. And then what's also really great is the Zoho apps as a full are also available to connect with. So if you have other services with Zoho or you're looking at going with more of their products, you can actually have them integrated together, which just saves you so much more time and energy when everything just automatically works seamlessly. And then you also have some additional apps as well, too, that you can connect with. And then as far as their actual marketplace, they do have additional extensions that you can, again, just kind of add more value to your overall invoicing. So you could start off very basic, but then you can continue to add more options for you to make your process when it comes to invoicing that much better. Now with all the features and benefits that we talked about and showcase here today are all why Zoho Invoice is the best free invoicing tool that you can start using today for your small business. Now I will have a link for you in the show notes down below as well as the pinned comment. That is not an affiliate link, it just goes ahead and gets you right to the homepage so you can start utilizing this free software. And we actually did end up teaming up with Zoho to make you a beginner's guide for you right over here, which takes you through the setup process of opening your account as well as getting your first invoice made.